the Upanishads translated by F. Max Miller in two parts, part one, Dogya Upanishad, sixth Prapathaka, ninth Kanda. As the bees, my son, make honey by collecting the juices of distant trees and reduce the juice into one form, and as these juices have no discrimination, so they might say, I am the juice of this tree, or that, in the same manner, my son, all these creatures, when they have become merged in the true, either in deep sleep or in death, know not that they are merged in the true. Whatever these creatures are here, whether a lion, or a wolf, or a boar, or a worm, or a midge, or a gnat, or a mosquito, that they become again and again. Now that which is that subtle essence in it, all that exists has self. It is the true, it is the self, and thou, O Svetiketu, art it. Please, sir, inform me still more, said the son. Yet so, my child, the father replied. And, of course, in this thing, um, the son not only listens, but learns the lessons, which is the point of why the story is passed on. But it's important to realize these things now, rather than just being absorbed unwillingly and unprepared. Um, at the beginning of each chapter, the commentator supplies the question which the son is supposed to have asked his father. The first is, all creatures falling every day into deep sleep, su shupti, su shupte. It's sometimes difficult when the word's broken up into different lines. Obtain thereby the sat, the true being. How is it then? that they do not know that we obtain the sat every day. Now bees, one of the things about bees, um, doing a ritual together, the processing of things and all that stuff, we saw previously something that could be applied to the cows, you know, there's the waste, there's the blood, there's the milk. Um, of course that's not the analogy used there. Um, but both are creatures that kind of do what they do and go out. Of course, the bee is more understandable about the doing something going out because the cow just goes around and does its thing. 